The monsoon has helped to ease drought conditions across the southwest, but La Nina is on its way, bringing drier weather. The Farmington Police Department is working with NDWI to put up more sobriety checkpoints over the next couple of months, so don't drink and drive. And get a head start on signing up for October activities. You're watching the Local News Roundup, brought to you by Pops Truck and RV Center and Ace Hardware and Wendy Graham Settle. The Farmington Police Department, in partnership with a grant from NDWI, will set up sobriety checkpoints and schedule saturation patrols from now through September. The grant is expected to reduce the number of alcohol-related crashes and fatalities in the state of New Mexico. According to a study by the University of New Mexico and the New Mexico Department of Transportation, San Juan County has some of the highest rates of alcohol-related crashes in New Mexico with 157 alcohol-involved accidents in 2020. Of those 157 crashes, 14 were fatal. Remember to drive safe, plan to have a designated driver if you are going to drink, and if you see someone driving whom you believe to be intoxicated, call 911. To learn more about NDWI, visit NDWI.com. The recent rainfall from the monsoon this month has eased drought conditions across New Mexico and the rest of the Southwest, but weather experts warn that the reprieve may be brief. Four Corners Regional Airport measured more than two inches of rainfall during the past month, but at 3.53 inches of rainfall this year, it still falls short of the average year-to-date rainfall of 4.3 inches. The U.S. Drought Monitor map has downgraded most of New Mexico for drought severity, but the Northwest, including San Juan County, is still listed in extreme drought. Although rain is expected to continue over the next week, a particularly dry La Nina is expected this winter, which might mean a return to drier conditions. To see drought trends, visit the U.S. Drought Monitor. As summer comes to a close, fall activities abound in Farmington. Sign up now to be part of the Chill In Oktoberfest event on Saturday, October 1st at Orchard Park. The event, which will feature amateur and professional restaurant chili makers, will pit chilies against each other. Prizes will be awarded for People's Choice and Judge's Choice in Red, Green, and Chef's Choice, as well as an award for the Best Decorated Booth. Sign-ups are available if you or your business would like to help sponsor the event. To sign up for the event or to learn more, call the Chamber at 505-325-0279 or email Janie at GoFarmington. Dot com. Tickets for the Rio del Sol Kiwanis 9th Annual Dining with the Dead are now on sale. You'll visit with some of Farmington's earliest pioneers from the 18 and 1900s while touring the Greentown Cemetery. Tickets are $30 and include the tour and dinner. Pick up tickets at Howard's Cleaners and Artifacts. That's it for this week's Local News Roundup. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.